All right, here we go. 2020 Panini Elite Extra Edition five box break number six. <clears throat> this one. Uh, these are your teams. Thank you, everybody, very much. Good luck to you. You know, it hasn't been pleasant. It's been some uh, heated conversations. And uh, there's just nothing I can really do. I mean, I could refund everyone their money and then relist it when I have it. But when I relist it, the prices are going to be significantly higher. I've only had to send one refund so far. The major problem is that it was shipped express, so it went straight to a specific error um, pattern. Um, logistical layout that they have, and uh, it got backed up and shut down. I still keep, I mean, I get all my ground, FedEx ground, UPS ground, everything's good to go, except for the express delivery. It's pretty rough. I'm all right, though. I mean, it's not like I'm the only one that doesn't have it. There's actually only a few people that did get it. It's all, uh, I can't say that any of the three are better than the other. What I can say is that Amazon is infinitely better than any of them. I think Amazon could very easily take over for the post office and would have already if it was something that they could make a profit on.
UPS has been pretty good. Um, I got to give UPS huge props today. Uh, I was on the phone arguing with FedEx over this limited uh, delivery. I had a missed call. I called her back. And it was a UPS driver. He's like, yeah, I'm at this address and no one's here. Uh, what do you want me to do? Can you come here and meet me? I don't want to keep it on the truck and bring it back tomorrow. It's like, yeah, do you know what it is? I can drive up there and meet you there. It's crazy awesome. Um, it was uh, some of the desks that I ordered and chairs. <clears throat> He's like, yeah, I'm on break, so whatever. I'll just uh, meet you up there in half an hour. Just called me. Why can't any company do that? You know, that's not allowed, but it makes it way easier. It just, it just makes it easier for him, for everyone. Just, it's way better. Just call me. See, I used to have a guy that let me do that, and this was like 2014 and uh, he'd let me come meet him and after a while he's like I, they won't let me do this anymore blah 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 and once I scan it it has to be scanned at the address because it's being tracked and all of that alright man still gonna call me <laughs> Levi Thomas to 24 Max Meyer, three out of 10. Wow, that's weird. Jeremy Arrocho, Arrocho. This is basically all hits, so we're not doing a recap. Uh, Roberto Campos. To 36. Feldman Celestin to 99. Ed Howard to 85. Nick Garcia. Max Meyer, Mayer, Meyer. Haven't actually heard anyone ever say his name. Hobby Hobie Harris, same draw. Christian Roa, P.D. Helton, Put this way over today. Let's move it a little. Oh, uncomfortable. Uh, Fran Aldui. Uh, what percentage are your speakers set at? Ian Bettle. We did this earlier. With like a sound test and everything. No, I'm not the loudest talker. Chipper Jones. Ripkin Reyes. You're at 100 on YouTube, but what about your speakers? Huh. 
Evan Carter. Jordan Westbrook. So if I do this, is this any better for you? If you kept it, I don't know if you turned it down or up or left it the same, but if you had left it the same, is this any better? Carson Taylor. Eighty seven Matthew Dyer, fifteen percent better, fifteen percent better. All right, let's go a little higher then. That's about as loud as I really that's over what I want to take it to, but actually. Perfect. How about that? That should be pretty good. I think. Tyler Soderstrom. That might put you to 75, maybe. That's pretty good. I mean, if you have headphones on, that's not, yeah, you don't want it louder than that. William Holmes. A lot of people are going to do that and just, Chill in bed or whatever. What do you think? Is it any better? Brian Martinez. Casey Schmidt. Oh, man. You're missing all my sexy undertone. Cole Henry. Chris Bubik. To 99. Kansas City. Scotty V. Doing pretty good tonight. 37. Okay, cool. We're good there. 37 will be great. <clears throat> Jimmy Troncoso. Austin Martin. Probably listen along with you. I'm a. I'm not a big fan of the facial recognition of the iPhone. Just. I don't know. I don't think it's the best. All right, I got my uh, phone on seventy-five percent, or close to it. Looks like it's three quarters full. So, got the headphones in. See how that goes. Yerlin Lewis, one twenty. Tyler Keenan. That's the two hundred and forty. Yeah, you don't want to miss them. Yeah, baby. Uh, 149, Juan Santos. <laughs> it can be hard to catch them. 90% of the time I'm talking out of my nose. Reed Detmers. Ed Howard to 44. I can't stand hearing my voice. It's horrible. I think I... I've heard some people say that too. I don't know if that's a common thing or not. Kaden Polkovich. Kelvin Hidalgo to 62. Nick Madrigal. Helchris Oliveras. Tony, Jordan 
Nwogu, one out of ten. I think we pulled three of these. Definitely two, but I I think three. The third one might have been a full card and not a die cut. Angel Trinidad to forty four. Reggie Jackson. That one's the 99. Man, those uniforms are ugly. Justin Lavi. Hitting Cantrell to 51. Ooh, variation. Ian Seymour is not the variation. Jordan Walker to 120. Our version A. I don't know if it's necessarily a variation. Some of them have a little baseball on the back. A, B, I don't know what they were doing. Sam Weatherly to... 36. Patrick Bailey. That one is the 49. It's a thick one, too. Drives me crazy when they use these big, thick cards with skinny jerseys, and then you can just like look inside of it, see the cardboard and everything. It's not a good look. Daniel Alvarez. Did you buy them? Good for you. <clears throat> it's pretty ballsy. Jose Rodriguez to 175. Landon Knack. Is it hard to pull the trigger or was it just a no-brainer? Jeff Criswell to... 36. Drew Waters to 99. Is it Waters or Waiters? That there's only like three people that know. His mom, his dad, and whoever announces his name. Joe Adele. <laughs> Adam Seminaris. One of one. Ooh, it's autographed. Kind of. Mick Abel. Alec Burleson. Rolls into 120. Uh, Logan Allen to 45. Drew Romo. There's a good patch. Three out of three. It's hard to. The stamps seem. Maybe it's my eyes. The stamps don't seem to be as deep and readable like the last year or so. Kyle, Kyle Hart. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. That big old lot we bought. It's it's already doubled. It's insane. It's so crazy. Uh, Gabriel Torero, Clayton Beater, Kyle Nicholas, Fridas Nova to one forty nine, 
and Jake Vogel to 51. And that is it. That's it on this one. I'm going to list uh, another one uh, for anyone still wondering. Limited football, still in limbo. They say it's supposed to be here tomorrow, but I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, plates and patches got here first. I actually do have one box of plates and patches. So, Anyway, thank you, everybody.